Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patricia. If this is your first time on my channel, if you are not new and you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. In this video, I am going to show you guys how I made this dress that I'm wearing. This is the fourth beginner friendly project that I talked about in my five beginner friendly video, which you guys love so much. A number of you requested that I do all the individual projects. It's been exciting. This is a very easy beginner friendly dress. For me, when I was making it, I was struggling with matching the prints. I wanted to challenge myself to include prints. So you would see that I made some decisions and I changed them, which is perfectly fine. The only thing about this dress or the pattern that I made, which I would change, is adding about an inch at the shoulder level. And when it gets to that part of the video, you will see what I'm talking about. What that is doing is it's making the dress go a little backwards at the shoulder line, which I don't like. Some people may be fine with that, but I don't like that. So I like my shoulder lines to be exactly where it's supposed to be. So that's the only thing about this part in it I didn't like. If you want to make this exact dress, then increase the shoulder line about a quarter of an inch and you should be fine. Also this dress, if made in white, will be very beautiful. It will be so gorgeous, it will be so classy, it will be elevation on another level. White just makes everything just beautiful. If you want to look expensive, white is one of the go-to colors. If you wear white, it definitely makes you look expensive. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, share the video to whoever you think will benefit from it, or share it, just share it, okay? Without further ado, let's get right to the video. For this tutorial, I'll be using the pattern I drafted from my pattern hack video, so make sure to check it out if you haven't. I will leave the link below in the description box. I'm starting off by squaring a straight line at the edge of my paper just to serve as a guide for laying on my pattern. Next, I place the front pattern on the paper by aligning the edge with the straight line I just drew. To secure the pattern, I tape it to hold it in place. Next, I measure my desired length from the highest point of my neckline and I square a straight line from the center front. On that line, I mark my hip measurement plus one inch and then I extend the line to the top of the pattern. I also went ahead to change the position of the dart and you don't have to do this at all. I just like the look of it. You can even make this dress without a dart. And I also follow the same process in my how to add a dart to the bodice video. Using a pin, I transfer my dart point to the new pattern. Next, I mark an inch and a half down from the armhole without including the seam allowance and I add one inch up from the tip of the shoulder line and I connect it to the neckline avoiding the seam allowance at the neck. I learned this from another YouTuber and I will leave a link below as well. For my new shoulder tip, I mark the length of my desired sleeve length, which I later shortened. Next, I squared my around arm and join it to the rest of the pattern. I use a mark below the armhole as a guide and draw a curved line to connect to the sleeve. Finally, I mark seam allowance all around the pattern, draw my dots.
I also did extended dots, so make sure you extend the dots to the seam line of your pattern. The side seams did move after folding my dots, so I had to connect it again. Make sure to check out the dot tutorial for details. Now I'm ready to cut the pattern. And here we have a dart, so beautiful. For the back, I laid out the back pattern as a guide and placed the new front pattern on top and traced the pattern. But I trace it without the front dart. And also make sure to take out the dart excess from the side only. There's no need to add seam elements here because we've already done that for the front. All we did was to transfer the front pattern to the back. I wanted a v-neck for the back in order to pass my head through the dress so I measured 6 inches from the center back neckline. I later increased it to 8 inches by cutting away another extra 2 inches and I like it much better that way. I proceed to cut in the back as well. It's time to cut the fabric and I cut the front on fold and I cut two for the back. Next, I transfer my dart to the fabric for the front using my needle and thread technique. I pin the dart and stitch them. I also press the dart facing downwards. For the back, I stitch the pieces together and attach to the front. As mentioned earlier, I extended the back by 2 inches. I went ahead to make bias strips which I don't show in the video. I do have a video which has a more detailed steps as to how to go about it and I will leave the link below as well. Next, I proceed to cut in the lower part of the dress using my desired measurement which is the width of my dress hemline times 2 inches. I initially wanted to create a bigger sleeve so I cut this piece of fabric as well but as you can already tell I changed my mind. Next, I went ahead to cut two pieces for the back tie, then I folded each tie again into half. I did this solely based on how I wanted it to look and the amount of fabric remaining. Also make sure that your ties or the straps are identical. Next, I stitch and turn them inside out. Make sure to press for a cleaner look. 
As mentioned earlier, I struggled with matching the prints, so I first used this print for the lower portion of the skirt. Next, I sewed basting stitches, created gathers, and attached it to the top part of the dress. To join the two, I measured the seam line for fitting the lower part. I'm trying this on and I don't know if I like the colors. I actually put these prints together. It's more on me to see if I'll like it. I mix it up to change it. I change, I change my mind so many times. And now that I'm making it, I feel like I don't like it. Sometimes you have to finish sewing the outfit, see if it's working or not. But right now I feel like it's not working. These colors are close to each other except for the blue but then the blue is in all of them so that's why i was trying to incorporate the prints and also i decided to shorten the sleeves a bit i hope that this works out <laughs> i decided to shorten the top part and went with the blue print fabric for the lower part I folded the hem by one and a quarter inches and I also shortened the sleeves by about five inches. For the sleeve, I decided to do a simple fold over. To do that, I measured around the sleeve and cut two rectangular pieces including seam allowance. I also created these little things. I can't remember the name right now, <laughs> but I cut two pieces of fabric four and a half by five inches. I folded each piece into half and I marked an inch down and joined the marks as you can see. I cut, stitch, and turn it inside out like so. And these are the pieces you should have for the fold over. I did press the seam allowance for the bigger pieces. Next, I placed the smaller pieces on the wrong side of the shoulder seam. And I also placed the midpoint of the bigger piece with right side facing the wrong side of the sleeve. Pin and stitch all around. Next, fold over the other side of the raw edge, making sure to cover the seam. Pin and stitch. After stitching, I fold over about an inch and I finish off this part of the dress. And I measure from the neckline to make sure it's even on both sides. Next, I attach the straps to the top of the back neckline. I already prepared my bias tape and I did cut off part of the tape as you can see since it's an extra piece I do not need. I attach it to the neckline to finish off the dress. Next, I trim down the seam and make little snips in the front neckline and finish of the neck. Finally, I stitch a straight line at the bottom of the V for a flat look. I finish the raw edges and press my new dress and I am done.
as always thank you so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so for more videos like this also make sure to leave a comment below if you will be making this dress let me know what you'd like to see from me next bye